My name is Amy. I'm an art intermedia major. Well, my name is Paulina and my major now is sustainability. I'm Derek Shi, and I'm a computer systems engineering major. My name's Mixon. I'm a freshman at the School of Sustainability. Um, I'm Elizabeth Sowell. I'm a manager for academic advising in electrical engineering here at Arizona State. Uh, my name is Elliot Kemper. Uh, my background was biology and I came to Arizona State University for a master's in science and technology policy. Uh, my name is Nico Passioni. I'm a sophomore studying marketing professional sales. Well, my name is Andrew Lovell, also known as Potato. I'm currently studying to become a genetic engineer. I'm in my junior year. Hi everyone, my name is Sydney Keller. I'm a current senior at Arizona State University and I'm currently studying communications. My name is Kim. I am a current sophomore at Arizona State University and I'm a creative writing major. Um, hi, my name is Moses Lawi and I'm a film student here and senior at Arizona State University. My name is Jack Culberton. My major is business entrepreneurship. My name is Shabathia and I'm a, I'm a freshman here at ASU. Um, I'm David Lin, and I'm a film and media production major. My name is Israel Garcia, nicknamed Izzy for short, so I will be a soon-to-be journalist. I'm hoping one day, because I will hunt down Spider-Man. Uh, hi, I'm Maitri Trivedi. I'm in robotics and autonomous system with a specialization in artificial intelligence. Hello, my name is Emily. I am a linguistics major, and an obstacle that I've overcome was dealing with anxiety. The biggest thing I had to overcome, because there was a point when I couldn't even leave my house and I had to drop out of college the first time, um, I had to speak up and say, I need help. I need someone to show me who I can talk to and work through my anxiety and my depression. You know, how can I overcome this and be able to be a productive member of society and, and be able to thrive in school and to pass my classes? Coming here, I face some um, emotional and mental challenges. Like, I keep questioning myself and keep doubting myself. Like, is this what I really wanted to do? Is, is this the right for me? Is this really my dream? Or, uh, one of the obstacles that I faced in college consistently was loneliness. Uh, and not so much like not being around people, but feeling like I was connected with others. I was able to overcome that. I got really involved in my church and with uh, a ministry on campus. I would say my biggest challenge at ASU so far is navigating the social life. I, was, I went to a pretty small high school, so I knew pretty much everyone and pretty much everyone knew me, so it was pretty easy for me to make friends. But here I feel really alone a lot of the time. Like no one pays attention to me. I see everyone t walking by, talking with other people, and it just really makes me feel like I'm never gonna have anyone who I will have a relationship with like that. Um, I lost my uncle like right before Christmas time, and that was right before spring semester, and then I lost one of my really good friends around April. For me, I've always like struggled with reaching out um, to people for help. I had to withdraw from two of my classes this semester. I was doing 18 credit hours. I'm down to 13. Um, and I'm taking incompletes on two of my classes. I'm probably not going to be able to um, do school. I'm probably going to have to wait until I'm done 3D printing this human. I unfortunately contracted influenza was running about a 106, 100 degree fever for about a week. Fortunately, I contracted a influenza again this year. Uh, an obstacle that I'm facing is actually my senior capstone. Uh, it's my last film here, I'm a senior here, so uh, it's a little bit stressful. It's, it's a little rough right now, but going forward, of course, uh, uh, we are going to essentially you know, complete these obstacles, I hope. Um, Can't do everything al alone. You know, you have people uh, behind you to help you out, complete this. The struggle of trying to have these unrealistic expectations as men being cycled into that and not focusing on what's real. Currently, I'm not, I, I kind of come over that a little bit and I'm pretty set forth on that. There's been times where I've gone without sleep in order to get an A the next day on, a, on the midterms or to... Uh, not go without seeing friends for a very long time and having to 
drop plans at the last moment for friends and family? Well, the biggest obstacle was definitely transferring from community college to university. Being able to wake up on time for my classes. I set at least 20 alarms and I can I sleep through all of them. And my roommate has to literally grab my arms and drag me out of my bed just so that I can get to class on time. Second, uh, second semester near the end of it, I had like a kind of like a, I guess, like a breakdown and it was pretty tough. Uh, I got like, I pretty like failed all my classes and uh, I lost my scholarship and it was like pretty bad. I like wanted to avoid going home after school. I like, like tried to find excuses to like stay on campus and stuff like that. Being first generation like American is kind of hard because like you don't have any connections here. Like you don't have any family, you don't have any family friends. Your parents aren't really involved in your school. In China, it's very typical to like uh, try to fight to pay for other people. Like when you're like at a like a bar, yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta like go like no, no, I'm gonna pay, and then like they're supposed to say like yeah, I'll pay instead, and then you're supposed to like fight for it, and then and then you guys alternate like who wins. It's kind of like an unspoken agreement. But like my dad did that with his coworkers. And so every time you're like, oh, I'm gonna pay. He's like, okay, go ahead, pay. So <laughs> I didn't think I could go to school, you know? So I was like, oh, I should get some, like, a minimum wage job or like something like that and try to like, get some cash. You can't, you can't think like the world's gonna end because it's not going to. It's not, it's, not, it's not that bad, no matter what happens. The world is collapsing. So I had about $10,000 of debt coming here and I'm leaving here with about $80,000 of debt. Uh, the out-of-state costs here for a master's degree are extraordinary. I've seen a lot of students who have, you know, either suffered illness or maybe they've lost a family member and so on, and that is a challenge. Uh, the biggest obstacles are trying to balance work and school, but it's really good for them because often they're coming back to school after a break and they've had a chance to kind of figure out what it is they want to do in life, and they're very, very focused. So that office hours from faculty, yeah, don't be afraid of your faculty. A lot of engineering faculty come off as a little maybe intimidating, but they're really not when once you get to know them. So definitely knock on those doors um, and just use as many resources as you can. Um, and look for the balance that works for you and figure out what it is you want to do. You know, it's okay to take some time. It's okay to change your major. I think there's a little bit of a stigma on major changes sometimes. Um, <laughs> and it is really good to go ahead and figure out what that is. You don't necessarily have to have your life all figured out by the time you're 18, 19, 20. It's okay to go through the process or later. Find all the support you can, you know, family, friends, etc. Reach out and use all of your resources. There's a lot of stuff here on campus that students don't tap into. Everything from tutoring to academic advising to counseling and consultation. To really just hope and stubbornness that I can do something to change the world anyway. Uh, be conscious of how you're feeling and if at any point you're, you're starting to, to get down in the dumps, feeling depressed, feeling concerned, lost, go and get some, get some help for yourself because there's, there's no sense in wasting that time just sulking because um, I know at, at that point it seems like the only thing that you can do and that the world's closing in, but at the end of the day, um, there are people here that care about you and, and want to help you. My advice for someone would just to be open with others, even though it may seem harmed or like that no one's listening, like everyone wants to listen to you if they care for you. So definitely like go reach out to people if you need help. Um, talk to your teachers if you feel like it's impacting your grades and it's like setting you behind in class because they definitely will want to work with you. I've never had a teacher tell me, no, I don't want to work with you, you know, because of what you're going through. You know, there's always going to be someone who wants to help. I guess my advice for, and for other students out there would be to put yourself out there. See the, the, find what, what makes you smile and the, go seize it. The piece of advice I can give to you is if you do need to drop a class, don't be afraid to. I know many of my peers worry that a W on their transcript will stop them from getting a job or a graduate degree, but especially if you have a reasonable circumstance such as illness, or even if you're struggling the course, leaving a course and taking it again is much better than forcing yourself to fail the first time. Do not get the flu shot if you currently are infected with influenza or another virus. Doing things with other people, like me motivating them, them motivating me, has definitely helped me um, get through the times when I want to procrastinate. Don't procrastinate. I think it's like important to recognize like what you think the worst case scenario is, is like probably not as bad 
Because, you know, I was like, oh, I got to run away, like disappear, take like a bus ticket to Detroit, become like an industrial worker. But um, uh, one advice is that I suggest that you, you know, you basically start off, you know, early. You know, you get as much people as you need. You get talent ready, uh, your cast ready, your crew ready, you know, as soon as possible. You make sure you lock in your dates as soon as possible too as well, you know. Um, and once you do that, you know, you'll be more relaxed than me, so. The last thing that I would do is um, create a tally of the days that you've gone by without. So that helps you motivate you to realize that, hey, I've been with how many ever days out of it that I can make this happen. But I think the biggest thing that has really helped me out with this problem is joining the theater and Shakespeare club here at ASU. I, joined, I auditioned for their p production of Mask of the Red Death last year. I had an absolute blast and I've made friends with pretty much everyone in the cast. And we actually just wrapped up our production of A Shakespeare Carol this year. And I'm really looking forward to next semester. And I love everyone in the club. They're um, like pretty much just stick with it. Like there are going to be times where you have to have to take time out for yourself. Like, like withdrawing next semester and not graduating 2021 in May is, is kind of heartbreaking for me, but you know, I made it this far. I got my associates like. I need to take care of myself. You need to take care of yourself first. Like, that's the best you can do. I think therapy was the biggest thing that has helped me. Um, I was able to learn a lot of the reasons why I was anxious, a lot of uh, coping mechanisms. Um, so I think that was probably the best thing okay. I, I did. <laughs> I know a lot of the dining halls here What's really nice about them is there's actually guest swipes and a lot of people don't use their guest swipes. So if you go up to the dining halls, just sit there and ask people, hey, do you have an extra guest swipe I could use today? I'm kind of hungry. You know, I have a lot of food here. Um, and obviously shop off campus. There's a lot of way cheaper stuff at ca off campus. I went to Walmart, first time grocery shopping and, uh, you know, learning a lot of new stuff in life. Um, and I was surprised at how cheap stuff was compared to the online stores. They're, sorry, the, the on-campus stores. They're about uh, two to four times cheaper. So shop off campus whenever possible. It's, I will also try talking to friends and talk to them about how I feel or, you know, I will at least just try to try to fix on with a, with a mindset and just try to say, just do your best and just try to like it as much as you like if, if that's what you want and just like, just keep studying it in your field and do whatever you can. What kind of life you're going through just remember, stay strong, stay confident, and don't give up because you're not a quitter, you're not a failure. All you got to do is stay confident, be strong, be the hero of your own story. One of my uh, favorite phrases is, if I want a place to belong, I need to create a place for others to belong. And so by reaching out to others, and, and again, just, just friendship. Nothing, nothing more, just like, can we hang out? Uh, getting to know them, right? Uh, being interested in their story. Where are you from? What are you studying? Why are you studying that? What do you hope to do? Uh, what do you like, you know? That made a difference in their lives, um, but in turn, that, that's what made it a difference in my life. I was able to connect with that person because I was interested in, in them, and, and we became friends. And so I just did that over and over again. Um, and that really helped me get through the lonely parts of college. Um, I know that ASU has like a great counseling service. Um, I know we have a 24-hour helpline that we have a link to and even like teachers are willing to talk to you and even just like sitting down for five seconds and just talking to someone about what you're going through like instantly releases a pressure that you didn't even know like was really there. Stay cool, stay awesome, and also, go Sun Devils. Carpe diem, seize the day, or seize your talent. Find your people, that's what my mom always said. Yep. Drop mic.